hello and welcome to magic autocad in this part of tutorial we shall talk about the hatch command in order to have the hatch command you can have as a uh, short form h or you come over here on the draw and then you're gonna see the hatch command here you can drop down you click on the hatch then you bring it to wherever you want to to hatch Again, you can drop down this pattern to choose the pattern that you want to hatch your drawing. Okay, you can change it to any pattern you want to hatch your drawing. Okay, here we are. Then here, we're going to talk about the scale of the patterns. In order to change the scale of this hatch pattern, you come under properties, then you're gonna see here the scale here. Then you see these two buttons, you can pull it up to increase the gap between the hatching, or you drop it down to reduce okay or you can just go straight to type in let's type in point three enter okay so to have something like that then now let's talk about the angle now here you have the angle here in order to change this angle because initially it's at zero degree now in order to change the angle you can increase from here okay you see how the angle is coordinating okay can increase from here or in order to change opposite you can just type in 90 enter then you see the hatching at opposite direction let's bring it back to zero enter from here you can then close the hatch creation okay you click here to close and in order to edit this hatching you can click on the hatching and uh, this one is going to open up back for you to edit then now i would like us to change the color to change the color of this hatching you can move over here then you drop down to change your color let's put it at this level let's put it to this color then you can as well change the background color okay you can also change the background color i would like us to put this background color at uh, let's put this color for the background color then here we are then now let's talk about the transparency and then up here up here you can change the transparency the transparency for now is at zero so you can increase the transparency okay so you can bring it right up to 90 you got the transparency let's bring it back down to zero okay now let's talk about uh, separation okay now let's select back this to edit now you will see that these two hatches are still one okay in order to separate these two hatches you come here you drop down the option then you're gonna see the separate hatches then you click now you will see that we are now in separate patches let's escape and you see that so when you click this one you can edit now individually okay since they are separated you can edit individually now let's edit this one let's come up here and change the patent uh, style let's take this brickwork okay so you will see that we can edit individually because they've been separated 
then now i like us to talk about the associated before that this let's quickly go to the circle let's draw a circle here let's make a circle here okay then we go to to hatch yeah i like us to take uh let's take this hatch yes let's hatch here then now talking about associative you see that this associative box have been checked so if we select on this uh, hatch to edit then if you move it outwards you see that the hatch pattern is going to follow if you put it out again it will follow and then if you take it inward it will follow then now let's see about uh, non-associative now if we uncheck so now it's non-associative so let's see if it can work the same so here you see that if you extend the circle then the hatching pattern will not follow okay you reduce it it will not follow so that is a different of associative and non-associative now let's quickly see different path where we can apply how we can apply on a single object now let's go back to hatch command then we bring it down here let's first of all hatch this outer path then now come under option you drop down then you're gonna see uh, outer island detection now you see that it's this outer island that has been detected then now drop down this menu then if you want to hatch the alternate uh, path you click on normal island island de uh, detection if you click on normal island detection then you're going to see that the alternate uh, path has been hatched on the not share if you want to hatch the whole pattern then you come to ignore island detection okay and the whole pattern will be hatched then now let's go back here to talk about annotation okay let's come back here to talk about annotation so here you see that if you select here and uh, you you select you check annotation box then you can change your scale at this annotative scale okay so here we are at one let's go to one is two four and see so here you see that it got bigger then what if we go to say two is to one so you see that it got smaller so that is how the annotation functions here then now let's talk about the match property let's say you want to change this hatch or uh, pattern like this one okay you want this one to be like this one so the one that you want to change you click on it to select then you move over to sorry for this pop up then you move over to the match property then you click then come to the one that you want to match then you click automatically it will match now i'd like us to talk about the origin point of origin yeah let's select this hatch and uh, in order to change you see here that at this origin okay you can change because now we are at the middle okay here we are at the middle but here you can change uh, from the center to the top right or to the top left or to the bottom 
right or bottom left so how do you do that in order to simplify it you can just click on this set origin then you move it to wherever you want to position your origin so when you position it here you will see that the pattern have shifted and uh, if you click again and bring it here I want you to just just watch here and then you see how you shift and bring it to the bottom right equally it will shift then click bring it again to the bottom right it would shift as well so you can keep changing changing it depend on your hatch pattern now I like us to talk about the gradient so in order to use the gradient hatching you move over here and you drop down and then you click on gradient then move it to wherever you want to hatch okay so like that we can continue to have a gradient like that and uh, secondly you can change the color of the gradient depending on your hatching you can change the colors of your gradient yeah so it depends then again we can change the background color okay of your gradient so it all depends on what you want then finally let's talk about uh, the close poly remember we said we can only hatch a closed poly okay but now let's see how this is not true so let's draw something like this then i bring it down bring it this way then we take it up okay there then you're gonna see that we have an open area here it's not closed now let's try to hatch it and see okay sorry about that let's hatch and see let's bring it here and uh, we're trying to hatch then here you see that a closed boundary cannot be determined okay the boundary has not been closed so let's close it now you see that there's an indication here that this part is not closed then what do we do in this case in order to hatch it let's move over here and uh, we drop down then here you're gonna see crab tolerance okay then you can increase the tolerance let's say let's bring it up to here then we said sorry for that then we go back to then now you see that the hatch boundary is not closed what do you want to do then continue hatching this area the area will be hatched even though one or more gaps exist then you press on that so here you see that it has been hatched but one thing it's wrong here you see that this hatching has been attached to another path okay this hatching was attached to another path so if it was a general hatching in a very big object or let's say a building or something like that then you see that the hatching will be attached so it depends on you so thanks guys for watching don't forget to subscribe we are going to see how to write on hatching in our next tutorial. Thank you.